This is James from Zagat, and today we're at Chicago's Drum Bar for a drink with Craig Shuttler. Craig, cheers. Thanks for joining us. So, what are we drinking today? Actually, we had a guest come in when we were playing around with the idea, and uh, we had her name it, and it's called The Taste of Sunshine. There is kind of a little creamsicle thing yeah, going on absolutely. here. Let's talk about the, the beverage program here at Drum Bar. So what we wanted to create is we wanted to create a program where everybody who would come would be excited about any facet of the beverage industry that they're into. For example, if you and I come to the bar, I'm not really into cocktails. I like champagne. You're really into cocktails. I want... The Can you tell? <laughs> I want the me of the situation to find something on the menu that is equally as exciting as you do through the cocktails. So whether it's beer, whether it's wine, whether it's champagne, whether it's bourbon, whether it's scotch, I want everybody to find and be equally as excited about their selection and not feel like they were an afterthought. Do you think there's sure. ever going to be a moment where people just say, wait a minute, these are chef-driven cocktails, they're delicious, but they're still highly alcoholic and we're still getting really, you know, a little bit tipsy. And maybe this isn't such a good thing. Maybe this culture has gone a little bit too far. I don't think so because bar flies are becoming more like diners. They want to know where it comes from. They want to know the story behind the drink. They want to know the product. They want to know how it was created. They want, they're, they're becoming more like your food. And the more and more they become like that, the more and more it drives us as food service professionals to step up our game. So let's go back a little bit. You mentioned you took some time off between yep. your previous gig and this gig. I can even imagine taking a week off, a two weeks off, because I feel like I'll lose my spot. Right. What did you learn taking off? I mean, was there any apprehension about being away for so long, being away from the scene? Um, there was. There was, you know, it's, it's always that staying relevant and keeping your palate fresh and, and, and staying in the game. But, I mean, I, if I were to do it again, I would absolutely do the exact same thing. I would take the time off in a heartbeat. We do work so much. We work long hours. We work. We have such an invested interest in our concepts. But taking time off is, I feel, extremely valuable. Experiencing other things, different cultures, different countries, different ideas, seeing what people are doing in New York as opposed to what we're doing in Chicago, because you can get inspiration from anywhere. Whether it's architecture can help you make a cocktail, whether it's artwork, anything can, in some facet, can inspire an idea to, to create. And whatever it may be, keeps you fresh. So Craig, thank you so much. This has been Pleasure. awesome talking to you today. But I think I might head to the bar and have a few more. Sounds That's good, okay. I'll meet you there. Cool. Great, cheers. cheers.